Hi, thanks for watching this talk. My name is Vinay Koshi, and I'm a second year PhD student at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, advised by Professor Carrie Karahalios. Smart home devices are becoming increasingly common across households, exemplified by devices like the Amazon Alexa smart speaker, the Philips Hue light bulb, and of course, many, many more. These devices are often installed by the end user and they're highly customizable. Users can set up custom behaviors for the devices through the use of if-then statements or routines. For example, a user could have all their lights turn off and their front door lock when it's nighttime. And within a household, a user may have many such routines active, forming the basis for an automated home. But if we want to develop better smart home devices, it's important to recognize that when these devices enter the home, they often end up being used by multiple people with differing levels of control. Unlike many other studies which focus on characterizing an interaction between a single device and a user, the focus of our study is on understanding how interactions between users shape experience with devices and vice versa. In particular, prior works has suggested a divide between users who set up devices and create routines for them and users who regularly use devices but don't participate in their configuration. In this talk, we will refer to the former class of users as pilot users and the latter class of users as passenger users. Given these categorizations, we had a few research questions we were interested in answering. First, we wanted to qualitatively understand how pilot and passenger users differed in their approaches to forming habits around their devices and how these two groups influenced each other's habit formation processes. Second, given that most of the prior work done in this area was qualitative, we want to get a sense of how common passenger users actually were. And finally, we wanted to check how many users fell neatly into our two categorizations and how many fell somewhere in between. To answer our first research question, we conducted a series of interviews with 15 pilot users and nine passenger users. While we surfaced a number of themes in our interviews, we'll highlight a few of the big ones here. On the whole, we found that pilot users were much more active in seeking out ways to incorporate devices into their daily lives. And this was apparent before devices even entered the household. Consistent with some prior work, most of our pilot users described themselves as the driving force behind device acquisition in their household. We also noticed that pilot users often made use of external resources to guide these decisions. This could include online forums like Reddit. Passenger users, on the other hand, initially expressed indifference towards augmenting their lives with different devices, but when they picked up different device-related habits, they often appreciated them. And unlike pilot users, passenger users were much more likely to learn about their devices from another household member, either by directly asking for an explanation of how a device works, or by observing another user's behaviors. I, too, a passenger user, demonstrated this in this quote, saying that he isn't usually looking for the next best thing to use his devices for, but when he did find something, he liked it. In order to answer our next two research questions, we conducted a survey on Amazon Mechanical Turk. We employed a quota sampling procedure to balance participants by race, age, and gender. We received 178 responses, out of which 142 were for participants in multi-user households. Of our participants, only 18 actually fell into our strict definition of a passenger user. Recall that we considered someone a passenger user if they did none of the device setup or routine creation work in their household. It's worth noting, though, that of the pilot users who responded to our survey, 57 reported living with the passenger user. This means that just over half of our sample either was a passenger user or lived with one. To get a sense of how neatly users fell into our two categorizations, we had them report the fraction of device setup and routine creation work they did in their household. In the highlighted areas here, you can see the 44% of our sample that fell really neatly into one of our two categories. These users handled either all or none of the device setup and routine creation responsibilities in their household. In the middle region here, you can see the users who actually fell somewhere in between, sharing device management responsibilities with others. This accounted for 56% of our sample. What this suggests is that our categorizations are more fluid than we initially conceived. Users are maybe acting as a pilot for some devices and a passenger for others. Ultimately, what we want to stress, though, is that what works for pilot users may not work for passenger users, and that when creating smart home systems, both groups' needs should be taken into account. We'd like to conclude by thanking our participants and all of the Social Spaces group for their help in formulating early stages of this study. We'd also like to thank the NSF and Capital One for funding this study. And of course, thank you for listening.